Hi, welcome back to another Studying Simplified video. I'm Liza, and today I'm going to be giving you guys some hopefully helpful advice for AP Chemistry. So, first things first, I think most people know this, but AP Chemistry is regarded as one of the hardest AP classes. Knowing that doesn't mean it's impossible, doesn't mean it's too difficult, but if you're looking for an easy AP class, chemistry is definitely not it. But along with the difficulty of AP Chemistry, there are probably going to be some topics that you struggle with or just can't get, and that's that's okay. If it's something you struggle with, oftentimes you'll keep building on it and learn it. And if it's something you don't understand, there are ways to work around that, like mastering other sections and other parts of the course, or just a lot of the harder things to fully grasp are the smaller concepts that will only be a few questions. So in chemistry, in AP chemistry, there are some topics you need to understand and understand the why behind it and everything about it, and there are others that you just need to accept as true. I'm one of those people who likes to really understand what I'm learning, why everything works, the why behind everything, but for chemistry, some topics, especially the harder ones to understand the why, it's okay if you just understand and accept them as true. So a basic understanding of chemistry where taking it in high school is helpful, but not necessary for the course. Now, your school might require that, and obviously that's for good reason, but I took AP Chemistry without having taken chemistry in high school, and it just meant it was a little bit harder and I had to put a little more work in, but it's definitely very possible to do. Another thing about AP Chemistry is that it really helps to be good at math. Now, if you think you're not good at math, it doesn't mean you can't take the course. It just means you might have to put a little bit more work in, but there's definitely a lot of parts of the course where math is heavily leaned upon and you need to know how to do math well to be able to get the answer and solve the problem. Some of the main math concepts and things that you'll be able to use in chemistry would be just decimal places and understanding how to move them, understanding how to can cancel out and set up problems to cancel out, understanding units, and then understanding conversions and ratios. One big, big tip for AP Chemistry is to understand and know your stoichiometry. It's also called dimensional analysis, but this is huge. This is something I learned in the beginning of the year, and it's pretty much the foundation for every math problem you'll do in AP Chemistry. So when you learn dimensional analysis and stoichiometry, definitely try to lock that down. If you're looking for things to do before you take AP Chemistry, try to learn dimensional analysis slash stoichiometry. AP Chemistry is quite a difficult course for most people. So you definitely want to stay on top of it. It's super hard. If you push things off, it'll be really hard to catch up and really hard to cram. So try your best to stay on top of it. In AP Chemistry, this could be good news for some of you, bad news for others, but memorization will only take you so far. There are some concepts you could and should memorize, but there are others you just truly need to understand. For example, take acids and bases. You can't just memorize that the information about that in formulas, but you have to really understand how to set up a problem when they give you this piece of information and that, and how to set it up when you have a different piece of information. As with many classes, and it's definitely true for chemistry, you want to use your friends to help you out. Chem since a lot of chemistry can be quite difficult and hard to understand the first time, it'll be super helpful to hear your teacher explain it, and then a friend also as well explain that, and then you'll be able to have a better understanding of it. And the last thing that I think you should know before taking AP Chemistry is that you could and will probably be doing a lot of practice problems, and that's super helpful. So when you get into the more complicated units and towards when you start actually practicing, you're going to see how a lot of problems are quite similar, but the test or the problem will give you different numbers, and you have to just figure out which numbers you're missing and things like that. So the more practice problems you do, the easier you'll be able to learn everything. That was this video. I hope it helped. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about AP Chemistry, you can go ahead and comment those and I will answer them. In a few days, I will be uploading a video with the best resources for AP Chemistry that I found when I took it, so hopefully these will help you out. Thanks for watching and good luck!